Western comic books and Japanese manga have a lot in common while also having a lot of differences, like how manga is usually read right to left with comic books being left to right, how most manga and characters are usually written by one person or a group of people, while comic book characters and storylines can be written by many other writers, how most manga are usually black and white, while most comics are in color, usually being black and white if it's for the purpose of the story. But one thing that people don't usually see the difference between comic books and manga are the fight scenes. Now I know that every comic and manga is different, but what I and what a lot of other people notice when reading both is that there usually is a difference between the two. And of course every fight scene has its own context and whatnot. Now I am not at all saying that comic book fight scenes are bad. What I want to talk about is the differences that can be found between the two in most comics and manga and how both are good and can learn from each other. And no, this won't be another one of those videos just shitting on western comic books, saying that manga will always be better, comics are dying, etc. I think comic books are amazing and I don't think they'll be taken over by manga anytime soon like how so many people believe. Just a little disclaimer. The main difference I notice when it comes to the two are the impacts. The impact frames, the action lines, and the effects. Usually when there's a fight scene in the comic, especially between two superpowered characters, you ironically won't see much of the impact, but rather the after effect of it. Now of course there are a lot of pages where you can see the impact, but you'll normally see the after effects just as much or even more than the initial contact. Like when Superman was fighting Wonder Woman, when he backhands her, you just see Wonder Woman's body flying back and Superman's arm extended out. No wind up, no moment of impact, just her flying back all of a sudden. And this type of movement can oftentimes be seen throughout western comics but you can actually work well with this type of motion. Now this video won't be about degrading fight scenes in comics. There are of course many fights that show what I'm talking about and highlighting these things. When a mind controlled Hulk fights the Thing, you can understand how hard these two are hitting each other. And even without knowing anything about either of them, you can tell that Hulk still overpowers Thing even though Thing is still insanely strong. My favorite page is when Thing finally is able to land his strongest hit right on the Hulk's chin. You already know that Hulk's jaw is just destroyed along with Thing's arm, with all the bio-armored rocks that cover the Thing just exploding right off of him. No need for the action lines or bursts that I feel like manga can actually use a little bit too much. Another one of my favorite fight scenes is Superman fighting Doomsday in Superman Doomed. The Doomsday that had originally killed Superman was sent to the Phantom Zone to get rid of him permanently. But the thing is, that specific Doomsday was only a larva. Despite being eons old and living on Krypton before the Kryptonians did, he was still a young larva. And despite the fact that the Phantom Zone is a timeless dimension, he still grew into his adult stage, now being stronger and more dangerous than before. Strong enough to literally punch his way out of the Phantom Zone. So after crippling Wonder Woman, it's now up to Superman to fight him again. And this whole fight scene was just crazy. A thing that I love about comic books is that since they're usually in color, it highlights the atmosphere of the scene, like the grays and dark blues when Doomsday meets Wonder Woman on the ship, to the contrast of the pure black space with Superman's bright colors and the planets around them. And my favorite was the end, when Superman finally gets a good hold on Doomsday and tears him in half through the chest. Because this wasn't color like most comics, you can really see the damage that Superman did, highlighting the internals and torn muscle inside Doomsday as he is literally just solid bone and muscle. Now of course manga can do the same thing, but I love the color in it as I believe it shows more of what's going on, like how Doomsday's blood is purple and the orange background since when Superman crashed down to Earth it burned the environment around them. What a lot of mangas do is incorporate things like special effects, impacts, and action lines in their fight scenes, especially hand-to-hand -hand scenes. I really love these scenes and my favorite examples I want to use are from some of my favorite mangas, which is a lot. Kengen Ashura is all about fighting, makes the martial arts from fighters all over the world, and the artist, Doromion, really knows how to capture and show the reader the weight, speed, and power of these fighters. Wakatsuki Takeshi vs Julius Reinhold was basically an all-out display of power, a lot of impact effects, pure destruction, and of course, the moments of impact that can be used so well to make a fight scene just a tad more interesting. Especially if both characters have super strength. Like when they collide their fists, you can see the ripple coming from their hands and the shockwave they created. And when Julius smacks Takeshi, you can see his skin basically whiplashing like it should be. A lot of fight scenes in Baka the Grappler also have this. When Takeshi uses his finishing blow, he roundhouse kicks Julius in the chin, shattering it and winning the fight. 
the wave of motion really highlights the weight and power that kick had, and the impact effect, essentially just blocking out Julius's face, makes it seem like it was a flash of light, and it can leave the reader in suspense for a bit, wondering what his face will look like right after the hit. Both Kengen Ashura and its sequel have some of the best hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes I've seen in a long time. But what about scenes where they aren't just fighting close-range hand-to-hand, when there's two superpowered characters doing more than just punching and moving to the side? Some of my favorite examples are from Don to Don and One Punch Man. Don to Don has some of the craziest fight scenes I've seen in a while. The environmental destruction, after images, basically everything about almost every fight scene is just solid. Recently, the main character Okarun, who has the powers of the spirit Turbo Granny, basically got jumped by a couple aliens. One alien that resembles a xenomorph quite a bit is the best physical fighter out of the other ones. And this panel is probably my favorite, a spreadsheet of them. They look like a bunch of clones fighting when in reality those are after images. You can see the failed attempts of a strike being either dodged or countered by both sides. It really does highlight the speed of which these two are fighting at which is basically their thing. This manga has some intense fight scenes and if you like things like aliens, cryptids, spirits, lost tapes, things like that, read this manga. I do plan on making a video about this relatively soon. Now of course, most Western American comic books are about superpowered characters like Marvel, DC, and Image Comics. A manga that's full of superpowered characters and has some amazing fight scenes is of course One Punch Man, illustrated by Yuzuke Murata. Currently, Saitama and Tatsumaki are fighting, but before that was the insane fight between Cosmic Garu and Saitama. It was at this point where no matter what, Garu couldn't even hurt Saitama no matter how much he tried. That was until God was able to take control over him. He gave Garu the ability to control all energy in the universe and being able to copy abilities, causing literal atomic bombs and neutron stars to go off during the fight. When Saitama finally decides to let loose and with Garu being able to copy him, their fight resulted in destruction of billions of stars, basically making a void within space. It sent them launching all the way to one of Jupiter's moons. Saitama would display his physical strength by literally ripping the moon apart and Garu would show his speed, bouncing off the millions of debris to attack Saitama. When Saitama lets out a sneeze, it resulted in a giant hole being blasted right into Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. It was so strong, it was literally able to expose Jupiter's core. But then some time travel stuff happened and all that was reversed. Well, right before Garu transformed. I still wonder how the Earth isn't just destroyed because the moon should be knocked off its gravitational pole, and the magnetic field should be messed up because a bunch of the mass shifted, and the whole continental shaving. Eh, it can be explained later. Now both comic books and manga have some of the best fight scenes, and besides fights, like just shots of environments, characters, etc., they both are amazing, and I don't believe one is better than the other like so many people believe. But when it comes down to specifically the fight scenes, I believe both comic book and manga artists should learn from each other. As an artist, there is a lot I've learned from both sides. I've learned about paying attention to the background that a lot of comic artists do and things like dynamic poses that a lot of manga artists do. There really is so much you can learn from both sides. And just me pointing out the difference between the fight scenes does not mean I'm saying one is better than the other. I love them both equally. But fact is, there is a difference between the two, but both sides are still amazing. And things can be learned from each other. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments. I got the links to my socials in the description. Be kind to yourselves and each other. Thanks for watching.